Hey guys, it's Paul Potter with Crappie Fishing TV. Today in this episode, we're going to be spending the whole week down here at Choke Canyon in West Texas catching some big crappie. And we're going to be showing you guys how we're doing it. It's coming up right now in this video. Alright guys, so we are here at Choke Canyon. Uh, we're going to be spending a few days out here. It is, it's beautiful out here. Uh, the mornings have been about 40 degrees in the morning and then it's uh, slowly going up to about 85 degrees. So by the afternoon, 3, 4 o'clock, you know, it's about, it's 85 degrees outside. Uh, the water temperature uh, is anywhere between 55 to 65 degrees depending on where you're fishing on the lake. Uh, one of the things we found on this lake is that these fish are starting to move. They're starting to, they were in the winter pattern and they were kind of scattered and we can see a lot of fish just roaming out in the middle of nowhere. Um, also finding a lot of these fish on standing timber. We got a lot of standing timber on this lake. It kind of reminds me of Lake of the Pines, honestly. Uh, right in the middle of the channel, uh, you know, you can see these huge trees just sticking straight up. And what we're doing is we're sniping these crappie basically off of these off of these big trees. Um, the biggest crappie we found have been on the deep trees in the main lake channel in the middle of the lake, out in the middle of nowhere. And what we're doing is we're dropping our jig down and we're putting it right in front of their face and waiting on a bite. Ain't that hell? Change colors and it's gonna hit it right off the bat. That's awesome. Didn't even get it in there. First one of the day. First tree, first fish. So one of the things we've noticed is as as we've been here it's just been warmer weather the water the water temperature slowly rising the days are getting warmer in the afternoon one of the things we have found is the afternoon bite by far has been way better than the early morning bite and one of the reasons for that guys is because that water temperature and the air temperature has been you know 37 40 degrees early in the morning and then it's slowly creeping up to around yeah, 75, 85 degrees. Also what we found is these fish have been starting to stage. They're moving up into that 20 foot of water to 16 foot of water and they've been on brush piles. Uh, they're not really on the standing timber like they were when we first got here. They started moving to those staging areas. We also found uh, fish uh, in brush piles in the mouths of coves. So if you can find a cove down here where there's brush piles uh, in 20 foot of water, that's where those stagers have been going that's where we've been finding the staging fish and uh, again it's been hair jigs same color blue grass uh, silver and orange uh, 
orange and chartreuse. That's been the killers. Uh, tip with minnows some days. The minnows makes all the difference in the world. Other days, doesn't matter. You can't do anything wrong. But that's how we found these crappie here at Choke Canyon, guys. This is an awesome place. They got uh, an awesome boat ramp, huge boat ramps. They have cleaning stations that are out of this world, guys. Uh, you know, we don't even have, I can't even think of an Oklahoma lake that has a cleaning station uh, like these here. And this is all pretty awesome. I think it costs about five, uh, it costs five dollars to get in these state parks. Uh, but guys, it's well worth it. You're definitely going to want to take a vacation down here, uh, especially in the winter time, if you're in Oklahoma or up north, come down here to West Texas, guys. It's about uh, two hours uh, southwest of San Antonio. That's where Choke Canyon is, guys. You gotta come out here and check it out, guys. Hi, right, guys, welcome back. We're out here at Bud's Bait and Tackle here by Choke Canyon Lake. And here talking to the local guide that's been fishing this lake for about 25 years, and he's showing us kind of where to go. These are great people down here, man. If you ever get a chance, come down here and check out this spot, guys. We're gonna go around and show you this cool shop they got going. They just got it. Uh, they got a bar coming, uh, all kinds of good stuff coming. You guys gotta come check this place out. It's awesome.